What's up guys and welcome to another little challenge video here on NRV Outdoors. They're here at the creek to fish those butter worms. Today I brought six butter worms and my goal is to catch six trout. So far we fished in one spot, ran to some subscribers and I forgot to make an intro. So we've already caught one fish, we're down three worms, we've got three worms left, five fish to catch. So without any further ado guys, let's go ahead and get in here, let's get started. Let's go ahead and reach in here. And grab ourselves out our very first butter worm of the challenge got ourselves a big nice juicy one here got ourselves just a little small hook this time we're gonna do the same thing start below the head there and run it right on out to his bottom there we've got ourselves a little bee size weight i'd say about six or seven inches then we've got our float up there i'd say about two foot from from our bait here, so let's go ahead and make our first cast and let's see how this goes. There he is. brown trout absolutely smoked that butterworm and if we're lucky we can keep our bait on our hook here oh yeah An absolute gorgeous fish to start our challenge off there absolutely gorgeous mouth full of teeth here got ourselves a little male reach in just inside of the teeth frame there avoiding those sharp teeth just turn our hook out here there we go let's just release our fish right here take right back off heck yeah and as mangled as that bait is it's still very effective so let's go on ahead and fix it back over the hook with the best we can let's get it back in there all right let's see what happens right here got a little rainbow it looks like hanging out right here nope not the fish we was looking for big old creek chub calm down buddy oh he popped off and he made it back into the creek so that's good and once again guys our bait's barely hanging on but Let's get it back in here. All right, last cast with the chewed up piece, and we're going to add another one on there. I got faith, though. All right, then. So it's a whole new meaning to like two peas in a pod. See that? Two little butter worms in one cocoon. Oh, there he was. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. That was that old big one too. Did you see him? Yeah. He rolled up out of there for a second. Oh, are you serious? Gosh darn it. Maybe he'll do it again. I doubt it though. There he is. <laughs> oh, he kicked it right there. It was a tiny little brookie. But at least he let us keep our worms. So that's good. I would like to say that if you want to know more about these butterworms, I made a video on them a couple weeks ago. And I'll leave that link down below there. 
So if you want to learn a little bit more about them, you can just hop on that video, watch it. I'll tell you a little bit about their origin, where they're from, and the best ways to fish them. But today, we're just trying to complete this challenge. So no real need to talk about them too much. There we go. That was one hiding over there. Thought that was an old creek chub. <clears throat> As luck would have it, it was a beautiful little rainbow trout. Popped him right on into the net there. Oh, looks like he popped off in the net. Let's just get this little beauty released right here in front of us. Take off, little girl. Roll over. There she goes. All right. So she let us keep our worms, so that's a good thing. So that's two fish so far on three worms. So let's go ahead and get in here and see if we can evil up the playing field a little bit and make it three fish on three worms. That fish just came up and popped at the bobber. <laughs> oh, that is just priceless. That is just priceless. There he is. He went on down there and found our butterworm. After he tried to eat our bobber, that is. Gorgeous fish. It's the exact same fish too. Nice big brown trout there. Let's see if we can get her in the net. There we go. That'll even up the playing, playing field a little bit there and make it three to three. This is a bit of a hen here, but she's got a mouthful of teeth nonetheless. Let's see if we can find our hook here. Oh, all right. It looks like our hook has actually made its way into the net. Tell you what we'll do. We will snip our line right here. And we'll just pull her little nose ring right on back out there. There we go. And let's just release this gorgeous brownie right here out of the feet. There we go. That one was so hungry it didn't only want the bobber, but it also got our bait. And it evened up the playing field a little bit. Three to three. So let's go ahead and get retied back up and see if we can get ourselves another one. Alright, got our hook tied back on. We've still got our butterworm here. So let's go ahead and see if we can get ahead of the game a little bit here and catch us four fish on three worms and just see what happens. If it wasn't for that big one in the last hole popping off and losing our worm for us, we would be ahead right now. But losses and misses will happen and uh, baits will be lost that way. So we'll go ahead and drift out our little worm here and maybe we can get lucky and find ourselves another one. There he is. There's fish number four on butterworm number three. It's getting a bit dark on us and the bite has slowed down. But maybe, just maybe, with any luck, we can find us a couple more to complete this challenge. It looks like our butterworm is still hanging on, guys. Just by, just by a thread, though. Gorgeous little fish there. Absolutely gorgeous little rainbow. Calm down. Let everybody see you. Go ahead and get our release. Take off, girl. There she goes. All right, guys. So three worms down, four fish landed. Not too bad. At first, our average was a little bit rough, but it would appear that we're going to be able to pull it off. But it looks like we're going to end up needing one more worm here, at least. So we're going to go in here and grab us that worm number four. And we'll just cross our fingers here and hope that that'll be all it'll take. To land us two more fish. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's too good. Oh no, guys. Oh, that's two fish we've lost, and those two fish would have completed our challenge. No. But that's the beauty of fishing with these small hooks, guys, is they'll pop off. And an absolute giant one comes up right there and just rubs it in. Oh my goodness. Oh well, that's okay. We'll get in here and try again. 
Well guys, we'll make one more cast in here. And then I suppose we'll tuck our tails and head home. All things considered though, I had a really good time. I ended up catching pretty much six fish on just four butterworms. Two of those popped off unfortunately and we didn't get them in the net, so they simply didn't count. So we'll have to tuck our tails and call our butterworm challenge a loss. But all things considered, still had a ton of fun. Got that couple nice, really beautiful browns, a couple really gorgeous little rainbows, and that little creek chub to boot. And we actually lost another rainbow here in this hole, and we lost a really nice brook trout a couple holes up there. But all things considered, had a super good time and still got to catch some fish. So get out if you can, guys, and do some fishing and have some fun. And if you get the opportunity, pick you up some butterworms and take them to the creek because they're an absolute fish slayer. But guys, as always, be safe and tight lines.